Evan. You know, it's not often a Republican politician faces accusations of defunding the police, but it's happening in Hartford County. And as WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager tells us tonight, it's the county's top law enforcer who's leveling that charge. Plans for a third police precinct and a new training facility already approved to the tune of more than $22 million last May have been shelved in Harford County Executive Bob Cassily's proposed budget. And Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor isn't happy about it. Well, I've met with the county executive both before he came in office and then after, and each time uh, I've heard different things from him. And to the point where I, I, I'm 100% convinced, you know, he's just not being honest. For his part, Cassily is downplaying their differences. I can't explain this, to be quite frank with you, why, why we're going to, you know, sort of the, the vitriol of defunding the police and the like. Um, we're continuing to work together. Cassily says he's not obliged to meet a commitment from a former county council that left him with a $90 million structural deficit. These are tough choices, you know, and I respect the sheriff once the best he can have for his for the men and women of the, of, of the sheriff's department and they deserve the best but so do the children so do the teachers so do the old folks everybody deserves the best Cassily's proposed spending plan also cuts more than 19 million dollars from the school district's budget drawing criticism that it's setting students up to fail the county executive also has called for setting aside 13 million dollars to replace the volunteer ems service in the ever-growing county but expanding the reach of police service, apparently, will have to wait. There's been no commitment from the county executive other than um, he wanted us to look at some other property that cost twice as much to build brand new. Uh, in our opinion, it would cost twice as much to do that project. I think that was a red herring by him uh, to push this can down the road. I don't think he had any intention of doing this project from day one. In Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.